get anywhere else beyond the Beltway Sunday evening at 7 on 680 WRKO, the talk station. Barbara Willie here. Good to have you guys aboard. I'm Marjorie. He would be Patrick. And we would be here every Saturday, 10 to 2. Good to have you aboard. We have to thank Mary Blake. We've been trolling all morning. If you're looking for a way to get what you want for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or, or Festivus or whatever the heck it is, you just have to beg a lot. You just sort of take the mentality of a 10-year-old. <laughs> Right, and you Mary? did that so well, both of you. Yeah. So all morning we've been saying, oh, remember the good old days when Mary used to make us those little candy, what are these, sugar, sugar candy? Yeah. The sugar walnuts? pecans. The oh, pecans. Sugar pecans. Yeah. They're oh, that's so the good. pecans. So how do you do it, though? How do I do I know. I get people who ask for the yeah. recipe constantly. Yeah. So it's are you a lot of love. Actually, no. <laughs> Is it a secret? A you don't tell, tell a secret. Um, Your grandmother would be. That's true. Actually, you know who gave me the recipe? Who? Dan Davis. Do you remember Dan yeah, Davis? Yeah, I do. From WRK. A Did we used to work for him? Yeah. 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 Oh, God bless him. Is he still around? Yeah, he's still around. What a he, great guy. Yeah, and he used to uh, bring them into the newsroom. And so I begged him for the recipe. He finally gave it to me, and I don't get really give it so up. So they're candy. They're crystallized. They're sort of sugar. And you put them in with some chocolate chocolate and some mints and go to They're town. all mixed up in this wonderful little can and Pat and I just, they're addictive. You can't yeah, stop You can them. and that's the sad part. <laughs> well, and enjoy. by the way, the only thing that Thank we don't you, like what? is, you know, all the other stuff you put in there with them, though. Oh, no, I like the chocolate. She puts in little things. So those oh, are man, like I love these stuff. pecans. So they're so good. They're sinful. They really but, are. So we kept begging her and then Pat said, I bet she's going to drive home and make some. So we don't know where she got them. Uh, my husband actually drove them in. <laughs> no, you know, here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> thank these you, were really you, meant for Mike Elder and we got his. So I'll take them. <laughs> That's our boss. So, Mike, if you're listening, <laughs> you screwed, babe. We are sucking down your, well, I have to say it differently. We would be eating your nuts. We're e Well, we're we got your Christmas. You ever gift. been to Playa del Carmen? I don't know. I'm I'm not having a good day. Playa, Playa del, del Carmen. Carmen. No. Yeah. I, I think it's in the Caribbean resort. Listen, a Mexican man yeah. killed his lover, and then cooked his body in tomato and onion sauce. Oh, you know what? Is and it? ate it over three days. Pat, police listen. found. Listen to no, this. No. No. Gamero no, del no, Dieras no. Arias grilling the body parts <laughs> when they raided his shack. I'm not listening. He was preparing stews. Oh, God. Can you imagine going to... In no! Play the, when I, I don't think I'm going to go to any restaurants Look there. at the time. Oh, it's 12.38. People are eating lunch. We just ordered Thai food. Well, that's right. I'm trying Mention to eat it. my candy. Lunch. Russ is in a car. Russ, you run WRKO. Russ knows he's in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Russ. Yes. Help me. First of all, I could care less about what the governor spends on junkets, just like I didn't care whether Ed King ate hamburgers or he ate lobsters. But I do care about insurance fraud. Uh -huh. and, the, and the governor and the rest of the knuckleheads up on Beacon Hill have Don't. failed to do their job. Right. First of all, anyone caught with insurance fraud, they should serve a mandatory of one year in prison. Second of all, they should have to pay restitution for every cent that's paid out by the insurance company. And for any legal advice, if they have to, uh, if the state has to provide a free uh, attorney, they should have to pay for that too. And third, if they're if they're not a citizen of the United States, then they should be deported. And if they were strong enough and had the backbone to do that, they would end insurance fraud. Yeah, but wait a minute. Let me just jump Amen. in. I Amen. Not, we, I think we both totally agree with everything that you said. But here's the cynical piece of me, Russ is that we say this and you say this, and the fact of the matter is, as long as there are regular people, and, and for, it doesn't matter if they're immigrants, uh, people born and raised in the city of Boston, getting up every morning, somebody has a rear render, or it's time to pay your taxes, or it's time to do uh, turn return something at a store, if they can get away with it, there's an awful lot of people who won't admit it to their neighbors and who go to church every Sunday who will scam you thinking but, it's their due. Madge, nobody but, but, disagrees but, with that. Wait, can wait, I wait, just wait, answer? Wait, oh, no, no, you answered my guy a few minutes ago. Okay, now, now let me ask you this one question. I, we agree with you. 
Everything that you said, I agree with, Marge. I don't well, disagree. Well, don't blame it on the immigrants. But hold on for a second. But, you, but on the other hand, you're trying to be so politically correct, you won't go and prosecute the wrongdoers because you don't want to send the wrong message that they haven't that that, that you haven't made sure that your PC mm -hmm. card is filled out no, properly. No, no. I want these people are of certain mm -hmm. ethnic groups. They are illegal you in most instances. Yes, I do, Marge, because I've been following this story for damn near ten years. And they were all illegal immigrants. Not all, but most of them are, yes. There, there are no Caucasians born and raised in Lawrence Rarely. doing this. Rarely. I How don't know if the there's ever been that one. are involved in this? Uh, but they also are of Hispanic descent. How about the physical therapists and the chiropractors? Same. And so all of these and, people... And, and chiropractors, too, yes. All, all They're all wrong, people. but if there is a group... What the judge said... Because the guy was from the Dominican, he just slapped his hand and sealed his record so it will not go on him because he's, a, he's new to the United States of America. Listen, That's the wrong message to send to everybody. Shame on the judge for not, process, for not uh, adjudicating appropriately. But he wanted to be PC, and he was. No, I don't think it's got anything to do with PC. I think it has to do with being lazy, and I think it goes back to the insurance companies who are all about making money, and they don't give a flying fig. They'd rather pay off I, if it's cheaper. I agree with that, too. i got no problem with that. That is true. They'd okay. rather pay off, but you got to you got to stand up and say where the problem is. In the insurance industry, that I'm labeling the problem. We are Clapperwood and Whitley, and we're both ticked off. I want to talk about the breast in New Jersey. Ah! Hot news and burning issues. Boston's WRKO. The talk station.